Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode here on All About You. I'm joined by Matilda. Matilda. Yes. Thanks for coming. No problem. But you know something? She's always around, behind the scenes, helping our producer. Yes. So today... I'm on the hot seat. Yes, you are. <laughs> anyway, but let's keep today's topic under wraps. Let's go into one um, a short video, yeah. and we will be back after this. Stay with us. Empowered women are defined as those who have taken control of their lives, have a strong sense of self-worth, and are actively pursuing their goals and dreams. Actress Priyanka Chopra and her husband Nick Jonas have a different approach to deal with their busy schedules. The actress, model, singer, philanthropist, and UNICEF ambassador was named one of Time magazine's 100 most influential people in 2016. Married to singer Nick Jonas, she explained in 2021 during an interview with Elle magazine how they try to maintain a bit of normalcy in their relationship. Wherever we are in the world, we fly to each other at least once a month for a couple of days. She seems to be fine with seeing her husband Jonas every three weeks. And she also added, We have individual careers and achievements that we are both very proud of. We come together and we stand apart individually. Could being an empowered woman potentially create problems in a relationship? This is what you'll find out on tonight's program. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So well, well, well. I have so much to say about this. Let's not even get started because... Hi. So today we're going to talk about empowerment. Yes. Okay. Whatever this word means to people out there. Uh, it, it, it did start well, in my opinion. I've done some research. Mm -hmm. It started wonderfully a few decades ago. Um, you know, be free to vote, be free to... Excellent. I'm on board. I accept. I am happy because yes. today I can do things as a woman that many couldn't do it back then. But I think it's gone out of control. And even women are mm -hmm. confused about it. Exactly. It started so good. You know, go out there, mm. support your family, get a job. Equal would, pay. Equal pay. Which makes total sense. Exactly. Because women needed it back then. But then what happened? As with everything that starts good, mm -hmm. it started to go a bit left. I, I think people, people, uh, what's the word? I'm, I'm really struggling here with, with, a, with a word, to ex mm -hmm. trying to explain what's on my mind. I think that they lost the plot. Mm -hmm. Can I say that? Yes. They've lost the plot. They started something and now they, they ended up, I don't know if the production can add a, a, an image mm -hmm. of this to illustrate, they got lost in the forest. I think that's what feminism, mm -hmm. empowerment and all those things. Uh, I mean, that's what's happening. I, I've, I've heard from men. Yes. I've done my research because mm -hmm. I don't want to be here just... You know, okay, empowerment, yay, mm -hmm. yes, sure, power to women. Now, I wanted to understand how it all started mm -hmm. and what's happening now. And I, I really think women are confused. No, women are confused because it's like... And it's affecting everybody. It's affecting because, let's be honest, nowadays we see a lot of unhappy women, mm -hmm. a lot of single women, pe women on the outside who look as though, you know, they are happy, they are strong, but then you dig deeper mm -hmm. and then you notice that they are not happy in their love lives. No, they, they don't understand their purpose in exactly. life. And we're going to talk about this today, mm -hmm. Matilda. Yes. But going back to the video we just watched, please, you know, mm -hmm. honestly, I'm not here to criticize anybody, but I'm married. And there's no way I would ever accept to be married to a husband, to my man, mm -hmm. and only see him once a week. Yeah. L let alone once a month. Because you're and, so busy. And share a Google calendar, which yeah. honestly, I don't even know how to use it mm -hmm. properly. I don't <laughs> care about... I like the paper. I'm old school. I yeah. like a paper um, calendar. Yeah. Uh, so, sorry, you know, this. I'm so passionate about this. I'm going to mm -hmm. really have to be careful that I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll let you speak. No yes. problem. But it's like this. Mm -hmm. uh, I was watching a documentary about a celebrity couple the other day mm -hmm. and how they got divorced and all yeah. that. And, you know, they were showing photographs of the wedding. They were so happy. 
right? So happy. They looked really beautiful and all that, rich people. But afterwards, they exposed footage that they filmed of each other when they were drunk, breaking things at home, um, you know, passing out on the floor from drug abuse. Now, you tell me, how can you say to, to a person, how can you go on TV and say, um, it's fine, I, I see my husband once a week, or I see my husband once a month, and everything is okay. I do not believe this. I don't believe this. Mm -hmm. The truth is I don't believe like this. No, probably behind mm -hmm. the scenes, someone is drinking, because they miss the other person, because mm -hmm. they miss, they, I mean, it's not natural. But that's why we see a lot of celebrity couples cheating on each other. Mm -hmm. Because imagine you're having to schedule time to see your husband, mm -hmm. or you're having it's to- It's ridiculous. Oh, this is, this one blows my mind. We've to schedule a coffee time. But exactly. We, when we, I mean, well, it's, it's impossible. I mean, I mean we're always busy. Exactly. I, I, I don't know how they do it. So imagine, <laughs> even some of them, their husband is in the same house. Hmm. But no, oh honey, you're upstairs and downstairs. Oh, let's Google, let's see each other. It doesn't make sense. This is why yeah. people are not happy. Yeah. And celebrities especially, forgive me if you're a fan of celebrities, but they portray an image. They glamorize They glamorize. They romanti romanticize. romanticize. Wow, I'm really getting better with my English. <laughs> Roman and then mm -hmm. the thick people who are normal people like us, they watch these things and they think, wow, yeah. this is... This can be, you know, I can do the same with my husband. I can, uh, you know, uh, no, that's not natural. We were not made to, you know, if you want to get married, it's as if the topic became about the celebrity things, but mm -hmm. we'll get back on track, I mm -hmm. promise. But it's as if no, you want to get married, you need to understand that you are going to be married now. So even there, look at the negative message yeah. to people at home who look at these beautiful people full of makeup and all that, and, and none of that is real. And when you, you live a normal life and you have a little disagreement over yeah. a bill or something, you, you think, oh, we need to divorce because yeah. it's not working out, mm -hmm. or we fell out of love. These are all expressions Emotions. that people hear mm -hmm. on social media that they don't even know what they mean. Yeah. So can you see the danger? What I, one word I hear a lot is, or two words actually, irreconcilable differences. Oh, we can't reconcile our differences. Oh, don't differences. even get me started Yeah, because, you know, mm. he's like this, I'm like this, and I, I can't deal with it. Mm. And this is the problem. People are buying into these things. Yeah. You know, oh, they just stop divorced. watching. Stop watching these things, no, honestly. No, get back on track. Yeah, stop watching these things. Mm -hmm. So, Matilda. Yes. What is, um, you know, in your opinion, mm -hmm. uh, this empowerment thing going around, mm -hmm. you know, we, with women, mm -hmm. what is this doing to their relationships, in your opinion? Well, from what we've seen, and even from doing research, a lot of women nowadays are unhappy. Mm -hmm. There was a research done by the Daily Mail saying that women are more unhappy nowadays than they were 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. But why is that? Because it's like women are trying too hard to be everywhere, to be everything. And we are not saying here, you know, don't go about your daily life, don't work, don't look for a job. We have to do these mm -hmm. things because we're in 2023. People have to survive. Yeah. But the thing is, people are losing focus. Mm -hmm. Their priorities are out of they place. They got lost in the forest. They got lost in the forest. Listen, this is so deep. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking if one episode will be enough. We are not here criticizing mm -hmm. people. But we are normal people with normal lives chatting about this. And the thing is, when you go on YouTube, when you go on TV or whatever, magazines, when you, when you hear about this um, topic, it's all mm -hmm. very politically correct because nobody wants to say anything that will upset anybody. No one wants because to be cancelled. They, they don't want to be cancelled. Mm -hmm. So if I am a, a writer for a very famous magazine, I know what I think about it, but I can't write about it because, you know, my job is more important and people will cancel me. So don't listen to these things because this will destroy you as a woman. Like I said in the beginning, we started well. 
We've achieved many things. We are living yeah. a life today mm -hmm. because of, you know, what women in the past did. They, yeah. they fought for the rights. But there has to be, we need to draw a line. It's as if, and I hear this a lot, oh, society says these days that a woman needs to be like this and like that and, and behave like this. Hold on a second. Have you ever stopped to ask yourself, who is society? Who is making all this noise? Because usually, people who start trends, it, when you watch it on TV, mm -hmm. it's as if there's many people backing that idea up, isn't it? But sometimes it's one person, two people. So there is a society, inverted commas, out there which is probably a small group of people who are bitter, who are lost. They don't know what they want out of life. They are confused. They, for example, people who like to go on um, TED Talks mm -hmm. and talk about this, not all of them, but some, they say, women, don't accept this. It's as if women are, uh, maybe I'll come up with a word here. Mm -hmm. um, you know when you, you think you, someone is out to get you, kind of syndrome? Mm -hmm. uh, there's nobody coming after you, but you think there is, so you, you are always talking about it in a very bitter way. I, I say, relax. Yeah. We've achieved so much. We do so much. Women have yeah. most of the best jobs out there. We have president women. We have yeah. role models. We have amazing mothers raising children, which are the adults of tomorrow. So why that thing of going on social media, power to women? You are sending a message to the younger uh, girls mm -hmm. that be careful, Matilda, yeah. be careful. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you are dating be careful, he's going to abuse you, he's going, he's, going to, you. he's going to cheat on you, he's going... Calm down. Because this is destroying your relationships. Yeah, exactly. Like you mentioned, mm -hmm. how can you be in a relationship mm -hmm. if you are always... You You're have always malice. worried, second guessing what's going to happen. Oh my goodness, what's yeah, this going to do to me? Exactly. Men are this... Men, men are wonderful. Yeah. I have, listen, I have quite a few men in my life. I have two brothers. I have a father and I have a husband. And honestly, they are not perfect, but I love them to bits. And I am so blessed to have them in my life. We reach a perfect balance because honestly, we can't be like them. And the thing is, we have mm -hmm. women trying to be more like men and they still feel dissatisfied yeah empty anyway what they were created for it's not what they are meant to be yeah. women are meant to be women men are meant to be men and we are meant to coexist and embrace embrace each other balance each Listen, other out be feminine you know make yourself vulnerable sometimes mm -hmm. especially when you are with your husband so we hold these weekly seminars which uh, well we are based in london but there's other branches you can inquire there's a, a telephone number on the screen, a 24-hour helpline, if you want to know more about it. But I remember, Matilda, mm -hmm. I gave this example, and this is something that I really, I practice this. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, probably you do the mm -hmm. same, I don't know. That I can do many things by myself, yeah. many. Mm -hmm. But whenever I buy a new phone, whenever I need something assembled, I'll ask my husband, can you please yeah. do it for me? Mm -hmm. And then maybe I, maybe I will just go like this, you know, with my yeah. mm -hmm. lashes. I don't know. There's a word for that. Anyway, and he, I, the look on his face, he feels so um, useful. useful. Yes. Sure. Let me come and help you and rescue you and, mm -hmm. and help you whatever, assemble or, you know, unbox mm -hmm. your new phone. Can I do that? Absolutely. But... It's priceless when my husband, you know, taking the lead. You know, mm -hmm. this is this is so nice. I mean, do you do this? And this ever? is what women. Yes, I do this all the time. 
and he loves it. <laughs> do you? Yes, I do. There's so <laughs> many things I can do on my own, so many things I can do by myself. I'm like, oh, honey, please. Oh, can you help me? What do you think of this? Or my iPad is not working. Or can you help me fix the iOS and all no, this? No, when they say to you, <laughs> have you switched it on and off? And I go no. like, oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then he comes and he goes all technical and he works it and he's like, and you're oh, not look, listening I, to any of no, what he's saying because you don't understand the terms exactly. sometimes, sometimes. No, yeah. And he works and he does it and he's like, look, it's so simple. I'm like, well done, Isn't you know. It? And they feel so man. yeah, that's it. And he feels so happy to do it. Why? Yes. Because this is these are men. They want to lead. Yeah, they were born to yeah. save the lady. Mm -hmm. They have, is it called? testosterone yes we have estrogen obviously we have a bit of both but majority is estrogen i'm a lady you know i'm 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 feminine mm -hmm. i i for me to be empowered or to to show that i have rights i don't have to be rude to men out there i don't have to go on social media and say power to women mm -hmm. and this this and that and put men down no do you understand? So I think women are a bit in the forest, not understanding their role, and this is is unhealthy. It's come to a um, it's come to a point, a level. It's yeah, reached a level. that they are not happy. Mm -hmm. If you are really truly honest with yourself, you will agree with us. Yes. Now there is a movie out there which yes. I I can't be bothered to watch, but I've read some uh, reviews. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us about it? Yes, which is yet so. another example mm -hmm. of. And by the way, mm -hmm. gosh. By the way, I was watching a, an interview with the director of this movie, which is Barbie. The Barbie? Mm, yeah, the Barbie movie. And the, the, the person who was doing the interview asked her, but why? I mean, what's the idea behind, you know, it seems like you are putting men down. She could not give a straight answer. I just had to replay the interview. And I was like, I can't believe it. She doesn't even know why. She doesn't know why. She wrote that character to behave that way do you know why because the bitterness is inside of her yeah when you behave like this you have need of healing it's not that the men are not good that they are out to get you it's something unresolved within yourself but anyway, yes, yeah. Matilda, so, tell us about Do you remember when Barbie was a small, nice pink doll? All the girls wanted to play with it. Yeah. Now, Barbie movie came out and Barbie's all about feminism, mm. feminist statement. You know, it says, is Barbie the most feminist blockbuster movie ever? Because, you know, she came out, she found herself, she put Ken back in his box. And, Hold you know, on a second. People like to use this a lot. Mm -hmm. No, let's be... Let's be smart and, and question what mm -hmm. people are saying out there. What does it mean she found herself? Mm -hmm. I mean, were you lost? Yeah. This is what this is the idea they're promoting. Th think for a moment. Why are people saying she found herself? I found myself. One thing is you maturing into an older person into you know you're going through a stage of your life you are discovering things about your personality things you want out of life things you don't want anymore but be careful how you use that okay don't don't just say it because you heard it on social media because it, it does, maybe it doesn't mean anything and you are living by something you don't even know the meaning of yeah. And then you are repelling a future husband that could have made you really happy. Or potential very good friends because of the way you are behaving and you don't even know why. Why am I, yeah. why am I, why, why, like why am I carrying all these flags? Mm -hmm. I'm okay. I mean, by all means, if you want to see the Barbie movie, feel free. Go with your friends, go with your girlfriends. But yeah. what are we trying to say? When you go there, you have to think. What message is this movie, yeah. you know, coming across with? Do I Why, want my daughter to Do I want watch? my daughter? Because the movie, sadly, is aimed at young girls. And then they're going to mm. grow up and they're going to think, oh, yeah, I don't need a man. I can buy my own car, my own rings, my own this. Okay. Mm. But what message is this? You know, are we raising a future generation of girls that are going to be unhappy? No. Th this is a new generation of angry ladies. Yeah. Because that's what they are feeding young people. But something I was, I was uh, 
listening to mm-hmm. in one uh, of the interviews actually uh, about the empowerment thing, you know, happening at the moment and, and women saying all these things. Uh, there was a man who said something very interesting, mm-hmm. Matilda. Yeah. Yes, sure. We, you are the same as men. We are, the, and I say it because I'm a woman, and I agree with what he said. He said, "All right then. So when the war breaks, if a war breaks, you go back to your feminine box because you were not wired mm-hmm. to, you know, withstand certain physical pressures. Our body is different. Yeah. You know, I can't carry a fridge." No, I can't don't. carry uh, heavy stuff. I'm not uh, unless you are a bodybuilder. Okay, yeah. sorry if you are. Well, you're only... not built for that. So it's and it's okay. So there's many people out there saying, "Oh, we are the same. We are not the same." And it's beautiful that we are not the same, because each one gets to play their role, yeah. and that's how life happens. This is how. Uh, you know, we, we reach a perfect balance. This is how God created us. Exactly. We are meant to coexist, like I said yeah. before, and be happy. Like yeah. there are some times that I'm tired and I want to sleep and I want to rest. And it's okay. Mm-hmm. But my husband can keep going. He can go because he's more, you know, physically Even if built. they don't yeah. sleep, they are fine. They're fine. But I sometimes I need my sleep and it's okay to Sometimes. You know. <laughs> I need my sleep every day. <laughs> Otherwise, okay. you don't want to be friends with me. Mm-hmm. Yes, I feel unwell. I feel dizzy. Yeah. I feel, no, I'm going to work. I don't know how many hours a day. I mean, remember, we have ovaries. Yeah. They are quite bossy. They tell you when to stop. And yeah. if you don't stop to rest, you're going to have all sorts of health problems. Yeah. Those little tiny things called ovaries. We have them inside of us, despite what we think. Yes. But anyways, we are not here to offend anybody. No. But I just had to get this off my chest. Yeah, because... It's so unfair, you know, that young people are being fed this Mm -hmm. thing that a small group of bitter, angry people think it's important and they call it society. No, no, hold on. Who is society? Is a small group of people who are lost in the forest. Exactly. And they want to take other people into the forest with them as Be well. Be careful. That's why, yeah. you know, we're not here trying to offend anyone mm-hmm. or put anyone down. On the contrary, we want people to think. Because in this world nowadays, people are not thinking. They're and not. society doesn't want you to think. Mm-hmm. But we just want you to stop and think, hang on. Is what this person is saying true? Mm-hmm. Is this is movie making sense? Mm-hmm. What is celebrity? Do I want my children, to, want watch my children to watch this? What this influencer is saying? Is it making sense? Mm. When you stop and think, you understand that what we're saying, you know, is actually making a lot of sense. It is. And you may be angry for a while, but when you sleep on it, mm-hmm. you will see there is... There is a lot of truth in what we are saying, okay? This is not just our opinion. We get to talk to many people with the work that we do, and we see how many women struggle in their marriage. We're talking about women because this is a program for women. And we see they, they, they don't understand their roles in a marriage. They want to do the same things men do. In, in what way? They want to be out the whole day. And how about the kids? Oh, he needs to stay. But hold on. If you want to be like him, he also wants to be like you. And then how about the children? Who is going to be looking after the home a few days a week? What's going? Why did you get married? Why did you have children? So we have to put things into perspective and really think like you said. Hold on a second. We are being told things. We are in a world... This is, we are in a society where we are being influenced. People are getting paid to say certain things. So be careful, okay? Because what you believe in, it becomes your foundation. So if you believe on a lie, your everything you build on top of it will sooner or later be destroyed. You know, like an earthquake, Poof, gone. So be careful. Matilda, we've done yes. some street interviews yes. of people who, who also spoke about this. Let's have a look, right? Let's see what they have to say. Hello. 
In today's postmodern world, empowered women are taking control of their lives. They have a strong sense of self-worth and they're actively pursuing their dreams and goals. There are many female figures, celebrities in particular, who have become symbols of empowerment for women, inspiring them to strive for success and equality. However, could an empowered woman potentially create problems in other areas of her life? How would you define female empowerment? I define female empowerment as more of a sisterhood. It's girls looking out for girls and ensuring that, you know, we're all right and that we feel comfortable in a space and in a world that is made to make us feel uncomfortable. To me, it's like a consciousness that women carry where we have the ability to uplift and inspire ourselves and each other. Female empowerment is about the longevity of women and womanhood and making sure that for future generations there's that legacy there to keep the foundation strong in terms of what it means to be a woman, how to stand in your power as a woman. Female empowerment to me is empowerment to the world essentially it's about equality it's about understanding differences and and celebrating differences um, it's about togetherness is it a good thing most definitely is a good thing because um women have a huge responsibility of you know being a support system for our families our communities the way how i see things is that Men and women are supposed to balance each other out. We're supposed to uplift and support each other. There have been other movements that are about um, empowering women, particularly feminism, where it's very much, um, it can be toxic because it can be only about, you know, uh, excluding men. Anyone who feels empowered should understand that you need to be humble as well to share empowerment, to help empower other people. But I guess it's about understanding how to use that and how to channel that and where to take it and how to, you know, embrace it, I guess, and share it. Of course, I say it's a good thing. It's a good thing because it gives girls support. It gives girls the backbone to know that there are actually people supporting them and that wants them to be empowered and wants them to be powerful. Once again, in a world that makes us unpowerful. This world, it simply isn't for us. And I guess in a way it is a good thing, but it's still like, as days go by, like, you do see the way that men are more, you know, noticed. Is it causing men to be insecure? Unfortunately, I do feel that some men do find that when females are empowered or they feel like they can use their voice, they do feel maybe disheartened or maybe they do feel like their manlyhood is being taken away, which it does sadden me because I think we should all be equal. There's a big difference. It can be cultural, religious. So there's very different. There's a lot of different elements to why men would maybe not agree with women being empowered. Culturally, a lot of men think, oh, women need to be, you know, just stay at home, have families and be stay at home mums and whatnot. Maybe don't go out or don't have dinners with their friends or run their own businesses or work. Um, and I just think that's incorrect. And I think we should be moving, moving forward with our times. Um, women can do both. Men can do both not real men a real man would not be insecure of um, a woman in pursuit of her dreams um, an independent woman however when we talk about alpha males alpha males are hunters they're protectors they're providers and I believe that a, a man um, they're there to provide they're there to support I think there's space in that for us to coexist together. I don't think it makes men insecure, but I do feel like it makes um, females feel like men feel insecure because they feel powerful. I do feel like men do act insecure though, but I don't feel like they feel it deep inside. I feel like men want women to keep to themselves. I feel like men want women to honestly just wait for them to blow the horn and wait for them to st um, steer the wheel for us to know what direction to go into. Um, and in that way, it means that like, we're compacted because like, you know, we don't branch out. And I do feel like men like a girl like that more than a woman who has her own direction and opinion. I have a 70 year old daughter who every day is dealing Dealing with you know issues that revolve around sexism, bad behavior, and mean people, but you know generally humanity is great, and I think she realizes that. But she stands up for herself in terms of you know wanting to be who she wants to be and how she wants to be, including 
with her parents, wanting freedom to be able to go out and walk around how she wants to walk around with, who she wants to walk around, walk, walk around with, and also to sort of, uh, you know, strive and, and try to achieve her goals. And these were some of the opinions of some people on the streets. Yes. So, you know, I advise you, if you want to um, think about this topic a bit more and really do your own research, which I think you should, ask men in your life, what do they think about this? But in a real, real honest way, okay? Off cameras, what do you think? Well, we loved women, um, how they were. I don't know what's happening. Um, mm -hmm. It's like they're out, they feel like there's something coming after them. Uh, ask them and you will see, okay? I think we are overdoing. It's becoming like a, yeah. a hate. A, a, a hate campaign. Yeah, instead of a women's right thing. There's a Bible verse, Matilda, can you please, that we want to share with you before yes. we go. And it says... Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. I think this says it all. It says it all. It says it all. You know, we've said here on the program before, read your Bible. Even if you're not a Christian, be curious. You read so many things, so many books of people giving you advice that, you know, people, all sorts, read the Bible. You will be surprised on how you will find so much wisdom and put this wisdom to the test, this word to the test. Mm -hmm. Look what the Bible is saying. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, which means whatever comes up, whatever trend, think for yourself. Like it says, Right? But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what's God's, what God's will is. Which means, hold on a second, is this godly? Is this mm -hmm. going to be good for me? Because yeah. God wants what's good for us. Yeah. And you will know the answer very quickly. Now, before we end, Matilda, yeah. Yeah. Um, there are also some comments on Instagram. Yes. Can you please read a few? Yes. So the first one says, female empowerment is usually linked to radical feminism, mm. but I see it as knowing and being secure in yourself and your value. Okay. And another one says, I think female empowerment can be interpreted in different ways. In the world, I think it is seen as more as female independence, female CEOs, and getting things done on their own. Mm -hmm. Whereas in another sense, it could be seen as lifting other females up, complimenting each other, etc. Mm -hmm. So next comment, it says, I think female empowerment is when someone is comfortable in who they were created to be. We are pushed to be manly or have many attributes, which isn't wrong per se, but God made us different. Yeah, it's true. Then another one says, for me, female empowerment is when you have self-control when situations arises situation is what defines your character mm, very interesting so basically mm -hmm. uh what is real empowerment yeah real empowerment is when you know your purpose in life yeah there's a book we want to um advise you to read matilda which one yes. is it you mind showing us so it's called the v woman okay and i think it's this based book on what it's called The Virtuous Woman of the Bible. And I think this book sums everything up perfectly mm -hmm. because it teaches us how to be balanced in a modern world. Mm -hmm. you know? So basically, this is, was, is based on Proverbs 31 in the Bible, mm -hmm. where it describes like um, a kind of woman that God, you know, how God made us to be in a mm -hmm. way. So it's, it's a very interesting, so the book really, uh, extracted the main things, and you mm. will see what's the first chapter, for example. So Let's have a look. The first chapter the, is. What does it say, the first and the second? So it says. Because these are the qualities that the Bible uh, mentions about the virtuous woman. So it says, well, the first, the first chapter is called the V woman, basically how to be a virtuous woman. Okay, and what it means. And, yeah, and then the second one is she's trusted. Okay, and then okay. What's, the, what's the next one? She's good. And, and then, then it goes, she's hardworking. So you see, 
You will see when you read the book or when you, when you go to your Bible on Proverbs 31, that the virtuous woman that God created, I mean, the, the example of a woman, uh, she's independent. Yeah. She's strong. She works. She works. She's quite uh, independent, mm -hmm. but she's caring. She's loving. She's humble. She's feminine. Mm -hmm. She looks after her husband, her children, and she's she's pleasant. So she's not angry. You know, she deals with her issues with God. You've got things going on. Obviously, many people go through abuse. Many people go through. <clears throat> pardon me. Um, Terrible situations, situations, yeah. But you resolve it with God. You find the the healing, and then you. This is real empowerment when you yes. know your place, your your place in society mm -hmm. and in your, your within your family. Yes, it, it, right. It, so I, I recommend everyone to read this book, and they can find it in our bookshops or Christian Books Plus. Mm -hmm. Just there, have there'll a be a link on the there'll screen. There'll be a link. Okay. Well, that's all for today. We could be here talking about this for a lot longer, but that's all we have time for. Remember, you can comment on our social media, share these programs with your friends, and um, let's be women according to God's, you know, God's plan. Nurturous, caring, strong, mm -hmm. and so much more. We inspire. We have the power to inspire people. Yes. We set the mood in our home. I don't know if you've noticed that. If you are angry, everyone will be like, well, mom is not good. It's not a good yeah. day for mom. I don't, think, around mom. I don't think we're going to go out today. Mm -hmm. Mom is not, you know, in her best. But when she's well, when she's, even the husband celebrates, oh, there's going to be a special well. evening tonight. You know what I mean? So the woman sets the mood. The, the, and the husband looks forward to coming home. Oh, that's another one. Matilda, we just well, said we we're going to say goodbye, but we can just well, go they, on. They, we can go on because there's, there's so much to say. <laughs> there's so much to True. say. But Maybe on another episode. Yes. Okay. Let us know if you would like us to talk more about this topic. Anyways, that's all for now. Thank you for coming, Matilda. No problem. And see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Do you often wish that you had someone to talk to at any time of the day or night? Would you like to have someone to listen to you without any judgments? Would you like a listening ear for whenever you are afraid, doubtful or worried? The UCKG Help Centre runs a 24-hour helpline for anyone in need of advice, help or support. This free service is available every day for those difficult situations that can arise at any point in our lives. Get in touch today and allow a friend to help you through your trying times. No matter what you may be going through, we are here to help. UCKG Helpline 020 7686 6000